So, you are responsible up to what age if your child gains access to your firearm? What age do you think you'll be held responsible? 18. 18, anything else? Forever? 14. 14. If your child gains access to your firearm uh, under the age of 14, you will be held responsible. Except as provided in that section, it is unlawful for any pers person to store or leave within premises under his or her control a firearm if the person knows or has reason to believe that a minor under the age of 14 who does not have a FOID card is likely to gain access to the firearm without lawful permission of the minor's parent, guardian, or person having charge of the minor, and the minor causes death or great bodily harm with the firearm. Unless the firearm is secured in by a device mechanism or a, a, other than uh, the firearm safety designed to render the firearm temporarily inoperable. Uh, for example, I believe I have here. This is a trigger lock. So this is designed to go around the trigger as a key, you lock it, and this would be a device designed to render the firearm inoperable. There are various different types of locks. There are locks that are designed to go through the barrel. Right? So there's different types of devices that you can attach to a firearm to render it inoperable. Or the firearm is placed in a secure lockbox or container, meaning something like a safe. One of those quick access safes that I showed you guys near the end of yesterday would be fine as well. Um, or placed in some other location that a reasonable person would believe to be secured from a minor under the age of 14. What is a reasonable person? I told you yesterday. Judge and jury. Judge and jury. Whenever you see a reasonable person appearing in the law, it's talking about judge and jury. What would the judge, would the judge agree with you that that location is reasonable? Would you say on top of your dresser is reasonable? No. no. To an infant, sure, because they can't walk yet, right? That would be reasonable. Would you say that it's uh, top of your refrigerator is reasonable? No. Yeah, maybe if they're a toddler, but beyond that, absolutely not. I caught him climbing on the countertops in the kitchen before when he was, you know, much smaller. Now he can reach stuff. But when he was much, he's literally on top of the counter. They can get, you can be like, oh, well, he's only a foot tall. He can't get on top of the fridge. Yeah, they can get anywhere. Would your dresser drawer be considered reasonable? I guarantee your children know every single item within your dresser drawer. I know he knows everything that I have in my dresser drawer. Yeah, he's looking at me like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure the moment I walk out the door, they're in my drawers looking for stuff. Like, yeah, money, candy, or anything, anything. So a person who uh, leaves a firearm out and a child gains access is a Class C misdemeanor, and uh, which is, I think, like six months in jail off the top of my head, maximum, right? And a $1,000 fine, not less than a $1,000 fine. A second uh, or subsequent violation is a Class A misdemeanor, which is a year in jail. This does not apply if the person uh, under the age of 14 gains access to the firearm and uses it in a lawful act of self-defense. That's what's known as an affirmative defense. Yes, I was wrong in doing this. Yes, yes, what I did was wrong, but I was right in doing it. Okay, for example, anytime you shoot someone, it's wrong, right? It's against the law to shoot someone unless it was the right thing to do. Does that make sense? It's like, yes, I know shooting him was against the law, but... I had to do it because I needed to defend myself. That's called an affirmative defense. Um, and that's the same thing. If the child gains access to the firearm and uses it in a lawful act of self-defense, then there, there will not be any penalty for that. Um, or did a firearm obtained uh, by the minor um, unlawfully? So you did secure it by a trigger guard. You did secure it buy a safe and they broke into that they run you know they took a hammer or whatever um, if they gained access to the firearm unlawfully then you would not be held responsible either